there have been significant events occurring across all levels of government, and I'm going to highlight a few of the major legislative items in our change, chamber legislative update. Uh, during the March Good Morning SLO, I discussed the City of SLO's initiative to update its economic development strategic plan. It appears many of you took part in the survey, which serves as a crucial, crucial foundation for that plan. The city received an impressive response with nearly 1,000 survey submissions. Based on preliminary discussions with the consultants and survey findings, it appears the plan will concentrate on strategies that bolster our current businesses, foster a thriving uh, startup ecosystem, create an appealing place for both residents and visitors, and most importantly, attract and retain a skilled workforce to ensure long-term economic sustainability. Stay tuned to our newsletter and the city's communications in the upcoming month for the release of the plans draft, which will be presented to the city council during its meeting on July 18th. Several years ago, the slow chamber uh, united with other regional chambers in Santa Barbara County and Ventura County to strengthen our collective influence on state level le legislation through our group called the Tri-County Chamber Alliance. To that end, the slow chamber is actively monitoring the legislative developments within our state legislature. The state budget initially estimated a shortfall of approximately $22.5 billion, but a revised budget plan uh, released on May 12th revealed a larger deficit of $31.5 billion. But the governor emphasized two important points regarding this updated projection. The governor emphasized that he, they will not uh, there would be no tax increase to address the deficit, and the reserves would not be tapped to make up for it. Instead, they intend to address the deficit by Im implementing spending reductions, implementing cuts, and postponing certain projects. Only time will tell in the coming months whether these plans will remain intact, and we will be closely monitoring the situation. In other intriguing news at the state level, the governor has recently proposed a reform to the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA. While acknowledging the importance of considering environmental impacts, there is consensus that the CEQA process has been misused to obstruct numerous projects. Although specific details are not yet available, as the state legislation has not been presented, the success of these reforms will depend on the specifics. The governor aims to streamline the environmental planning by promoting coordination between local, state, and federal agencies. Additionally, the proposal seeks to limit the time courts have to deliberate on environmental challenges to nine months. Furthermore, increased funding will be provided to agency to expedite reviews, and the number of uh, required documents will be reduced. The proposal also includes provisions for additional exemptions allowing certain favored projects uh, to bypass specific reviews. It's anticipated these reforms primarily target major infrastructure projects related to green energy, transportation, and water resiliency. As always, we will keep you informed of any of the updates as they come up. Speaking of major infrastructure projects, our county has recently initiated a desal plan which is tails studying the feasibility and the potential necessity of a desalination plant on the Central Coast. This is a project with an extensive timeline, potentially spanning several decades. However, it is crucial to start this process while we enjoy a slight respite from the emergency drought conditions experienced a few months ago. Over the next couple of years, the county will conduct the necessary study. While desalination is just one component of our water resiliency efforts, it is vital to assess our regional water supply comprehensively. To facilitate discussions and enhance understanding, the Chamber has scheduled an Insight Studio Tour on June 7th to visit the Santa Barbara desalination plant and engage the Santa Barbara elected officials and water professionals regarding the various considerations behind desalination. If you're interested in joining us, please visit our web website and head to the Insight Studios events page. We'd be thrilled to have you join us. As always, we continue to advocate for our business community and keep, our, keep you abreast of these important legislative items affecting our community and our region.